Hey, happy Saturday, everybody. The other day we had a um, contest that I put up on the YouTube video when we went to go meet uh, George Perez again. He was signing copies of this, which is his new comic, Sirens, that he's putting out. Um, and the giveaway was for this particular issue signed by George Perez. On the back it's signed by his wife and a couple of other characters that are uh, portrayed in the story. So I asked everybody to leave a comment and their name and favorite comic that they like. And this is the stack of papers that we have, so I'm going to fold these up and put them in a hat, just so you should see there are names on here. Get that. Um, and let's draw the name. Alright, so we've got all the names in the hat. I'm going to shake this up a little bit. Got to pick up what we fell on the floor. Alright, so we got all the names in the hat. I'm going to shake this up a little bit. Mix these things around and around. All right, let's pick a name. The moment of truth, so you see it on camera. Tammy Rasmussen, you've won. You just gotta leave me uh, a address where we can ship it to you um, below and we'll get this out to you um, probably Monday or Tuesday in the mail. Thanks. Thanks for watching everybody, and we'll be sure to do a couple more of these things as we go along as we come across other cool things. So I appreciate everybody for entering. Thank you very much. Happy Saturday morning! Holy smokes! We DVR'd the Star Wars Rebel premiere last night, and although we saw a whole bunch of previews and all good stuff during Star Wars weekends this year, I'm really, really happy about it. That show was much better than The Clone Wars. Well, you liked The Clone Wars when it first started out a little bit, then it felt like it was kind of dragging on. But this show, I really love. It captures the feeling of uh, the original Star Wars movies, which is awesome. I can't wait to see more. If you guys haven't checked it out and you like Star Wars, just a reminder, it's on Disney Channel. I think going forward it's on Disney XD. I'm not positive, but you got to check listings. And really, really awesome stuff. I'm really psyched to see where the series goes. Of course, I could be over the moon now and hate the rest of the series, but I don't see that happening with the rest of the previous stuff that we saw at Star Wars Weekends. And just really, really cool stuff. Hey everybody, yesterday we picked up this ColecoVision flashback system. And it's very much in line with the other flashback systems that have been done before for Atari, um, as well as Sega, and they came out with um, in television this week as well. We were very much looking forward to ColecoVision. Here's a look at all the games that they have um, that are in the system. But we were looking forward to ColecoVision because this was one of my favorite systems um, as a kid. And very much anxious to see um, how the games hold up.
Hey, I'm in Mary's car and you can probably hear that wind tunnel outside because I got the window rolled down. It's actually supposed to drop down tonight in Orlando to about 59 degrees. So that is pretty cool. And I'm driving over uh, to head towards something to eat and then to Halloween Horror Nights. No Mary or Jesse, they went down to go visit uh, my mother-in-law and they'll be back tomorrow. So I'm stuck doing the bachelor thing tonight which consisted today so far of posting YouTube videos, um, reviewing a video game system, doing laundry, vacuuming, and doing dishes. So, I'm really rocking it out here. By the way, I forgot to mention that today was National Taco Day, and this is the remnants. We came to Tijuana Flats because on National Taco Day, it was $2 a taco. And all I can say is they were delicious. <laughs> so we're going to Universal. I like that those people have balloons and they're going into the city walk area. Where could you be going with balloons in here? So we're back at Halloween Horror Nights. I got no Mary and no Jesse. And we're here to do HHN Compound and to just kind of walk around and see who doesn't have a big crowd tonight. We've been basically doing this HHN compound game all night. From dusk to dawn now is 60 minutes, which is a pretty good reason why we're not doing any houses right now. Because 60 minutes from dusk to dawn is probably worth like maybe a 15, 20 minute wait. That's increased. Crazy, crazy. Check out this view. Second row, not bad. So Bill and Ted's in the second row is pretty awesome. I think at this point we've seen Bill and Ted's five times. And I think the show is a lot better as it's gone along. The comedy is still not as great as the dance, but it's pretty funny. And when you're up close, you catch a lot of more nuances than sitting further away. So I would think that if you come here early, get a good seat and you can see everything. By the way, it's a very slow moving Hogwarts Express. While we're waiting in queue for Giggles and Gore. Yeah, it's time for Heads Up. Oh my god, it's like we're being put through really fast and the bottom of the board. A microwave? Yeah. You do it on the stove. What do you do when you make the mess? We're in line for the Metallica house again. There was a person that fell down back there online. Yikes. Giggles and Gore is always fun. It was a little slow pacing tonight, so everybody was really bunched up the whole bunch. Poor choice of words. Anyway, it was great. So we were kind of sandwiched between folks that were screaming a lot, which makes that house really enjoyable. So I still love it. Arizona has a lot of noise. 
Hey everybody, we're back home. It's about 1.30 in the morning and it's been a late night. Um, I'm going to get to sleep. Um, great time tonight at Halloween Horror Nights with Tim and Jen. Um, we actually competed in the HHN compound contest again. I didn't win it the other night, um, but we did win it tonight. And unfortunately, we were at Bill and Ted's for the show that we taped earlier. We didn't tape the show earlier, but taped that we were there. Um, and um, we weren't able to pick up our prize, so they're going to mail it to us. So we'll be able to see what the prize is when it comes in. I guess we could open that on camera as well. So, on that note, um, thanks for all the likes, the comments, subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you. Thanks.